Jennifer King, Lori Locus, Sarah Thomas. Have you heard of these people? What do they have in common? They are women who are breaking barriers in the NFL. Ms. King is a running back coach for Washington, Ms. Locus is an assistant coach for Tampa Bay, and Ms. Thomas is a referee. All positions typically help my men. Ever since I was little, I would watch my older brother play football. Watching him was so inspiring. I loved watching the players tackle and was intrigued by the gear. Watching my brother wasn't the only thing that inspired me to join the football team. My dad played a big part in me wanting to play football. Originally, my dad didn't want me to play football. In fact, he wanted me to be in jujitsu and be a black belt like my sisters. Although my dad didn't want me to be in football, I became interested after seeing the way he looked at my brother when he was playing football. He had so much joy in his eyes, and I just wanted him to look at me the same way. It took a lot of convincing, but I got my dad to let me join the team. I'm the only girl on a football team, and in the beginning, all of the boys doubted me. In fall of 2021, I joined the El Cajon Falcons. During the first week of practice, I had to condition. Conditioning was very hard on my body. I had to run, do practice drills, and do sprints. And at the end of every practice, I was exhausted. But I knew I had to stick with it. I do admit that I felt discouraged because I felt that the coaches were singling me out because they didn't want me there. However, one day, my coach pulled me aside and told me that this was all a part of endurance training and that I was not being singled out because I was a girl. This reassured me and helped me realize that I was being treated just like everyone else. Not all of the players on my team made me feel welcome. Even though most of the players were nice to me, some of them made me, made me feel like I didn't belong. During practices, some of my teammates would target me. One time, another player even told me, I don't know why you're here, you're a girl. This made me feel discouraged and made me question if I really did belong. Hearing these types of things made me want to quit. But I know I'd be letting myself and my teammates down, and I wanted to persevere. After a while, my teammates got more comfortable with me being there and started treating me more equally. Being the only girl in a sport that is mostly played by boys comes with a lot of challenges. For example, when I take my pads off after practice, sometimes cheerleaders or other people will come up to me and ask me questions like, are you a girl or you like getting hit by boys? Getting asked these such questions was very overwhelming because I felt like I was being interrogated. Instead of worrying about my gender, I wanted them to pay attention to my skills. During games, I would even put my hair up in a braid so that the other team wouldn't know I was a girl. If I was going to be treated differently, I didn't want to play at all. Even though not everyone understands why I want to be on an all-boys team, I'm determined to not let them stop me from playing the sport I love. I plan to continue playing football through middle school and high school no matter what anyone says. I also plan to do whatever I choose and to try new things that interest me because I am my own person. I think it is important to share my story because I want other girls to know they shouldn't be scared of trying new things. There will be bumps in the road, but you will be able to persevere. There's no such thing as girl sports or boy sports. I think everyone should be encouraged to try whatever interests them and to not let other people's opinions interfere with their passions. Girls are just as capable as anyone else. In the words of Lori Locus, we will eliminate the need for labels such as female coach, female GM, female scout. And at the end of every day, I think that's what we're all shooting for, just to come in, do our jobs, and have winning teams.